Welcome back to Action Coach Portsmouth's Tip of the Week. Sticking on the key areas of the five ways, let's talk a little bit about conversion. This is your sales. How much of the leads that you get through your business do you actually convert? It's a key measure. Too many business owners go looking for that great salesperson to put into their business without understanding what's the conversion rate. The top strategy for me here is map out your sales process. From the moment a lead comes and inquires with us first of all, what are the key 10 steps that we need to take in order to convert them? Yeah, 10. Too many business owners have one or two steps, whether that be initial inquiry, go and see them, give them a proposal. That's not going to convert the optimum amount of people. What we've got to start to think about is through the conversion process, how do you build trust with your prospects? How do you build rapport with your prospects? We've got to create a sales process that actually enables you to do that. So if you haven't got a sales process in place, that's not the smallest of tasks, but I almost guarantee to you, that if you get a great sales process in place, your conversion rate will improve. As always, the number one strategy for the five ways is to measure it. If you measure what's happening in your business, I guarantee it will improve. If you've got sales guys, sales women, actually measure it by person. Understand what their individual results are. Create a little bit of a competition so they start to, start to go against each other. It'll be a great way to actually improve the sales process and improve your conversion rate. Get them to share their ideas. Get them to share what they're good at and why their conversion rate is better. As always, if you want any more help, get in touch and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thanks a lot.